Hi, I'm Steve on the Specky Techie. Uh, we've got something kind of new that a lot of people haven't got familiar with and this year is going to be really, really, really big with it because of the massive flop from Microsoft we call Windows 8 or WAIT as a lot of online people have been pronouncing it, the abbrevi abbreviation of W and 8, WAIT. So, um, the website to the project that I'm looking at today, uh, most of you may be familiar with it. This is Mint Linux. This is a new operating system that, well, actually, I don't know how new it is, to be honest. Um, but it's new to me. I haven't seen much of it, and my associates have not seen much of it. So, um, we got the operating system in full blown um, up and running here. So, we're going to do a very quick, brief little demo. Now, initially installing it onto my Toshiba C660 base laptop, it has picked up the network controller for the wireless and the wired network connection. So I am connected to my internet, Steve's internet, uh, wirelessly obviously, and we're going to see how it goes. Now, over the last few days I've been trying this, the wireless connection drivers have been a bit flawed. They've been disconnecting. Now, I've heard rumours about something like an NDIS wrapper, uh, that isn't so good as how they've got the wireless to work in. I don't know if it's to do with that. I don't even know that exists. It's what I've just been told. I've not managed to get much knowledge into this. So we open Google Chrome's Linux equivalent, which is also run by Google. Chromium, I think it is. Uh, yeah, go away. We don't need that. And go to Google. Um, the Wi-Fi at the moment's working. So let's see if all the features... Yeah you still got the F11 full screen features in Google Chrome, so, or Chrome them. Now, uh, where's the close button? Obviously, it's up here. So, th there's a few little differences. The main thing I really like is the simplicity of the App Store. Um, if I just whack that in there, the software manager is the App Store. You can download literally thousands of software packages for the laptop or the computer, uh, we'll call it Mint, uh, for Mint. So you can customise it and operate Mint around what you want. Now if you're using it for basic office work, you'll find Mint has its own office suite in there called LibreOffice, which covers word pressing, spreadsheets, presentations, all the basics you need really. Um, it also comes with a lot of other cool apps like the graphics editor, you've got GIMP, image editor, GTHUM, whatever that is, image viewer, uh, simple scan applications. So if we go to the internet, we immediately see Firefox, which comes with it as standard, it's its main browser and default browser. You get Pigeon, web me uh, internet messenger, transmission for your torrents, XChat, IRC, I don't know anybody who uses IRC no more. Um, other we got Steam which actually works um, and Notepad. Uh, in sound and video we got VLC Media Player which I was quite surprised to see comes with this version of Mint. Um, we never saw that with Ubuntu which was a big letdown. Um, we got the Movie Player, Banshee, Movie Player and Banshee I'm sure were what it was included in Ubuntu. You'll see a lot of familiar software between this and Ubuntu when you start using it. Um, now, if we go to, say, the control panel, you'll find things are very, very, very simple. You don't have much to control the operating system where you are very limited, unless you know what you're doing and can use the terminal. Um, so, applets, Bluetooth, we ain't got Bluetooth on here, so we don't need that. You can um, customise everything on the... Um, applets menu which I haven't figured out what it is yet so the software manager is the main thing that's really impressed me um, uh, 63,206 packages are available to currently download those are software packages they're, they're basically what apps are to Android um, so there's a lot of compatibility that goes with the operating system and it's layout the simplicity of the layout and the speed of which you can multitask and do multiple things at once is brilliant with this operating system. I love it. It's 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 not something I could use yet though. It hasn't quite got there but with Windows 8 this year 
failing and Microsoft not doing anything about it and saying the rest of the world's wrong, we're right. Operating systems like this, which are open source and customizable by the user, will be made more available and more compatible with much more different sets of hardware. I've yet to try it on this. Um, it is something I am going to do. It'll be interesting to see how good it runs. Um, so, for now, I'm going to leave you with that. Please leave your comments. Um, if, say for instance, I haven't covered anything and you're upset and you think for some reason the review isn't quite complete, pipe it down because I've not I've not managed to familiarise, 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 familiarise myself with this operating system. So, yeah, I've covered all the basics of what I need, what I wanted you to know. I'm gonna load Firefox up. It's pretty fast, uh, pretty stable. I haven't had any apps on here crash on me yet, and I've done quite a bit on here. You've also got a lock screen function, which if I remember, comes with a leave a message option, I'm not sure. Um, well, we've, there we go. No, there's no leave a message option on this version of Linux. It's something we saw in earlier versions of Ubuntu, but not on Mint. <coughs> so, I hope to see you asking questions in the comments I'll answer them as fast as I can and with as much advice as I can I'm very helpful in my comments if you are curious and there's a specific area you want me to look into for you I can do so and try and help as much as I can um, so there are also the Mint Ubuntu the Mint, Mint Linux forums which you can go to for your answers there are lots and lots of volunteers there ready to help with anything you may want. Thanks for watching, don't forget to rate and subscribe for the other round.